We're out here at Mans Creek Reservoir, uh, a few miles north of Weezer, Idaho, and we're conducting a standardized survey that we call the Lowland Lake Survey. The reason why we're conducting this survey is to check in on the fish assemblage here. We have a population of warm water fish species, such as largemouth bass and black crappie. Uh, we also have a unique stock of red band trout um, that exists in this drainage as well. When we conduct a lowland lake survey, we use a variety of sampling gears, so that way we can minimize bias and get the most representative sample of the fish assemblage. Last night, we set some pelagic gill nets across several locations here at the reservoir to survey those fish species that tend to hang out in the open water areas. In addition, we set some trap nets along the shoreline yesterday as well. So after we've set the nets and we're looking to retrieve them to see what we've sampled, we'll approach the marker buoys on all of these sampling gears that we've set out. We will retrieve the, the buoy and the, the rope line that attaches to the sampling gear. And from there, we are pulling in our nets or our traps and we are measuring all of these fish that we bring on board for length and weight. And we're gonna analyze these fish's body condition and compare that to the previous year's survey, which occurred about um, 18 to 20 years ago. 141. We also collected aging structures as well from the largemouth bass population here to look at their aging growth. We hope to glean insights relating to the recreational fishery here and specifically how the native red band trout are interacting with hatchery rainbow trout that we stock here, uh, while also keeping uh, tabs on the warm water fish species that occupy the reservoir. I think our goals for this fishery is to make sure that we're conserving the native red band trout stock that occupies this watershed, but also supplementing the fishery with hatchery rainbow trout that we produce within the Department of Fish and Game to maximize angling opportunities for Idaho anglers.